Nation. Yo, what go on? It's that guy, Not Nation. We're doing a video of um, just a little vlog today, dreadlock update. We are about five years and eleven months. So walk with me and talk with me. We're going on a journey today. Uh, we're at one of my favorite spots, which is Lake Ontario in Oakville. There's many many lookout points here and this is just one of them and uh and what we're doing today is is essentially doing a little vlog and a dreadlock update and i want to talk about this coat brought to you today by noise they make um cruelty free winter apparel and i've been having my eye on these types of jackets for the past year and I finally had the opportunity to get one at a really good price, which was $100, and I am super thrilled. So um, the best thing about these coats is that instead of using fur interior or goose down or duck down, they use um, recycled water bottles, and they make a synthetic fiber out of it. So it keeps you just as warm, and it's good for up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. Um, lots of pockets on it. I love the chest pockets up here. I did get it in a 2XL because that's what was available on the plus sizes clearance section of the website. But I figured it was fine because I wanted to use this in as cold as weather as I could get. And if I can fit another jacket underneath if I need to, like a little ski jacket, then it's going to be even better, which I tried and it did fit. So um, I was super pleased that I could fit another jacket underneath here for those really frigid days that we're out there protesting and doing activism for the voiceless that need a voice to be stood up for. But yeah, as we go on here, this is a beautiful, beautiful Lake Ontario. One of my favorite places to ever be. We have, I've been growing up around this area my entire life. And the best thing about it is just being by water. Being my water is just so soothing and therapeutic that you can't get enough of uh, you can't get enough of it ever. So let's go check it out. Talk about some dreadlocks, J -j -j dreadlocks. It's been almost six years since I've started the dreads. Six years ago, free formed it out, and now I guess at the end of next month will be six years, starting January. And uh, it's been a while since I've done an update. At a certain point, updates kind of become nonchalant because you don't really notice much changing uh, but what you can see changing on mine right now is the big Congos coming in on the side these ones I'm pretty proud of because they're getting their length that I've been waiting for and because they're so thick and so wide I feel like they grow pretty slow that's noticeable um, so I mean that one <clears throat> It's pretty good. There's this Congo at the back here. Interesting. Yeah, you tell me, let me know if you can see here. Um, this, this dreadlock was the wick that I had made unnaturally. I used a crochet hook to put all these locks together. It was about six dreads. Uh, you can see that the crochet didn't catch all of them and one of them is still kind of Lucy Doocy here. Um, but what had happened is that I felt that the integrity of this dreadlock changed after I made it into a wick. So, um, but the new growth coming in, I'm letting it wick up naturally. And this feels like the actual integrity that I'm looking for in a wick, not the manipulated kind. And it's also changing the shape by doing it naturally, by giving it more of a flatter, rectangular look. I'm seeing a bunch of golf balls in the water here. All over. <laughs> Someone's teeing off here. Polluting our lake. So, uh, 
the colors, I guess. You can see that they've been changing color this summer. There's a bit of a lighter brown happening on the tips. And I did do a wash maybe about two weeks ago. I have some new growth coming in here. That's like, these ones kind of want to join up together into one. And I'm letting them. I'm not separating these anymore at all. I want them to get as thick as possible. You know? And uh, not messing with any dye or no bleach. And um, this is the back. 360. Um, something really different. I hope you guys really like this. I do have some more plans for the channel, uh, more cash giveaways I do have planned as well. Um, and also we are doing an Instagram giveaway at the moment. Uh, for the next 100 people that follow, we get to 11,000 followers on Instagram. I will be giving away Dreadlock Tam and a Dreadlock Swim Cap to two lucky people. So uh, head on over to Not Nation Instagram to check out uh, and follow over there if you haven't already. I will be posting a detail. Actually, screw it. We'll post the contest details here right now, which will be um, head over to Instagram and follow and leave a comment on the most recent post regarding the contest and tag two friends and say, um, and say it's that guy on the, on the photo and then tag two people and I'll enter you into the contest. It's that easy. I'm going to go in the lake and uh, do some exploring here. Check this out. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Can you see that? Hello? Oh God, it's that guy, Roy. I want to do some talking about NLE Choppa. Man's been on a spiritual awakening lately. The thing with NLE Choppa is that he does have some pretty tight dreadlocks, always braided up. I want to see them go free form though. That's what we got to pressure them to do. Go free form. Hello. I brought some Scooby snacks for those interested. Scooby Doobies. Oh, check out this house is for sale. Let's manifest this right now. My guess about four or five million lakeside property here in Oakville, Ontario, the richest city in Canada. So when you guys want to come to the Not Nation Mansion party, it's going to be right here. Say so welcome to the Not Nation Mansion. The party is going to be happening here in a few years. So it's right by the lakeside. My, this house is for sale. It's probably about five million dollars. It's, it's Oakville. This is the richest city in Canada. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. We got our duck friends down there. What up, ducks? They're chilling. They're happy because uh, none of their friends got put into my new coat. Sweet deal. So, I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Oh, we should take that fence out of the lake down there. Not a bad spot. Chancery Lane. What are the chances in Chancery Lane? Um, <coughs> so, anyways, main thing is if you like this video, smash that like button down below. More videos will come like this. Uh, on Annalie Choppa's locks, a little bit different. I'm just doing a little bit of outro here on that on that video. And uh, other than that, life is good. Life is peachy. Much love to everyone that's helping out and supporting the nation every single time. And I feel like this is a good setup for us to do some funny stuff with people in public. Pranks and social experiments. So we'll see what we can do with that. Yes, yes. Peace.